Hi, today I'm looking at the rotary knob or rotary control on an old PRS guitar and I just want to explain um, and mostly to demonstrate what it does and, and what the different sounds are that you get with this. Um, I think a lot of people, including myself, are a bit unsure about what this, this thing actually does. I can hear what it does. I can hear the difference. I've had this guitar for a while and I, I use every position on here. There's five positions and they're all great in different ways. They're really good. It's a great guitar, um, really good thing. I know a lot of people take these out and replace them with a, um, like the McCarty wiring, which is a bit more sort of like a standard, a bit like a Les Paul type, type wiring with a three-way three, three -way switch. Um, but, uh, but I really like this. I don't, I've got no plans to change that. Anyway. So, uh, so even though I'm I'm doing it, making this video about um, telling you what this is doing, I don't really know myself, and I've got a list on my phone telling me because I keep forgetting what the what it's actually doing. So I've got a list here that I'm going to look at, tell you what each one is doing, but I'll demonstrate them now. I do know the sounds of this quite well. This guitar, I've set it. Um, it's plugged into a Strymon Iridium, and I've just got it on kind of a Marshall Plexi setting, but pretty low gain. Um, and I think it's, I'm not gonna mess with the sounds on there at all, I'm just gonna leave it on that. I think it's quite a good setting to demonstrate this on because um, some of the positions on here, that, that will drive the, the amp, I know it's not real amp, but it will kind of drive it a bit so it breaks up, whereas others will sound quite clean without me adjusting the volume. And that's a good way, I think, to demonstrate what this does. Uh, the guitar is a 1991 CE24, Paul e. Smith. Okay, so it's got the bolt on neck, um, volume and tone, and then this this switch. Right, so the, the thing that confused me when I first got this, um, I thought this switch, the, the actual control knob, had been replaced, um, and I did, I've never never had a guitar like this before, and it's a standard control knob, just like these ones. It goes from one to ten, or from zero to ten. There's only five positions on it, so you've got 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. But then, when you get to 6, and you can't turn it anymore, that's it. And, and I thought, oh, it must be the wrong control. Someone must have changed it, because presumably there's one that's just like 1 to 5 um, for this, this kind of guitar. But there isn't, they've just used a standard control knob. Anyway, that confused me. So, um, yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they're the positions. So position 10, which is with the control wound all the way clockwise as far as it would go, just like a volume or tone on 10, that's the bridge humbucker on its own, just standard. Really good sound, you'll hear these in a sec. Position 9, the next one, that's the outside coils of each pickup. Um, so single coils, they're kind of split, and they're wired in parallel, and PRS calls this a deep and clear sound. That's not what I'd probably call it, but... It's a really good sound, but it's a very thin, kind of almost stratty sort of sound, but not quite. Really usable though. Uh, position eight, the next one. Uh, single coils in series, and PRS call this a warm version of the classic in between the bridge and middle pickups. So I suppose they're talking about that standard kind of strat sound that everyone goes for, like the Mark Knopfler kind of sound. Now that isn't what this sounds like, I don't think but it is a really good sound, but it's not that sound, but it's a very good sound, I use it a lot. It's, it's what I would, if they didn't tell me on, if I wasn't looking at this, and I had to guess what it is, I'd say it's both humbuckers together. Uh, and then position seven, the next one, parallel single coils. So PRS call this a crisp version of the in-between the treble and middle pickups. So um, it's the other kind of in-between strat sound. Uh, again, it's probably not quite how to describe it, but it is a thin kind of stratty-ish sort of sound. Very usable sound again. And then position six, the last one, as you might guess, is the neck humbucker just as a humbucker on its own. That's a great sound. I mean, all, all five sounds on this guitar, I think are really good. Uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna uh, quickly demonstrate what they sound like. I'm not gonna touch any of the controls on the, the Strymon. So as I said, it's just set on a kind of kind of Marshall Plexi sort of sound, not too high again. I've got the actual drive on the pedal on about halfway. Um, so it's just probably breaking up a little bit on the humbuckers, but 
also positions 10 and 6. Um, and what else have I got? Tiny bit of the room reverb on. I've added a little bit of reverb on Garage Band, but not much. And there's nothing else. And I'm just going to leave the volume and the tone on the guitar up for. And I'll just play through some sounds. Okay. So I'll start on position 10, which is that. <laughs> Position nine. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's a quick demo of what what the guitar sounds like and how this switch changes the sound. Just leaving the Iridium set on that 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 basic sound. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit more, and I'll, I'll tell you what what position this is on. Uh, and all I'm going to do is just change the volume and the tone controls a little bit. Might put the gain up a bit on the pedal. And just change or fiddle with the volume and the tone a bit just to see what, what variation that makes. So I'm going to start on the bridge humbucker, which is position 10. <laughs> Position eight. Position seven.
Okay, so I know this, this video is supposed to be just about what this control does, but my attempt there was to um, try to get these to maybe sound the way that PRS described them, uh, because I don't agree completely with how they're describing some of those settings. And I think if you mess with the, the tone control and, and especially the volume on that kind of setting that I had on the Strymon, then it, I can see a bit more what they mean. I think it's a bit more stratty when you when you roll the volume off a little bit uh, on some positions. But anyway, that, that's uh, that's what it sounds like. And um, you know, I, I don't know much about the electrics and that, and I've, but I've just read out what PRS have told me this thing does. So I hope that uh, that clarifies it. If you're if you've got one of these guitars or if you're thinking of getting one with that control. Um, because you can be put off a little bit because so many people change them. But I, I've got no plans to do this. I, I think it's really good. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, please click like if you like that one and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, thanks.